Hello again, welcome to another tutorial on SQL Server 2008 R2. My name is Brian and this tutorial is focused on views. Um, views are a very nice tool to use within SQL Server 2008. There's a, a little bit of uh, talk regarding the uh, the speed of them related to stored procedures or queries, but of course, you know, if you're going to be using a, a, some sort of uh, some sort of functionality that's going to be fired repeatedly, I would say you should use a stored procedure um, if you feel very comfortable or you like some of the IntelliSense prompts that come up during um, when you're making a query. You know you can definitely use that. The beauty of views are that um, there's this code generation that's auto-generated um, as you're doing your table creations, um, and you can add a new table in here. I've already added in several tables here and created some different joins. But if I wanted to add another table, I could simply put, simply by adding it in here. I could refresh the table database. But I can just add another table in here, and I can start making joins based on that. Um, the first one we can go over here is a full outer join, which I've created simply by highlighting both of these. I can remove it just the same. This, of course, is a left outer join we have here, and we have a right outer join. And this is just a normal inner join we have. Some of the limitations of views, however, are that you cannot use row set union top order by distinct count compute or compute by with and within select statements inside the the view. You can't use average, max, min, stand dev, stand dev, p, var, or var p. Of course, these are all aggregate functions. Um, but again, the the main the main point here I want to make is, you know, have you after you go into your your down from tables and views down to system views, um, you know, you can you can go ahead and you can make your own new view. Just by hitting new view, you can bring in your tables. You can augment your uh, your joins, and you can see here that the TSQL is automatically reflected. And if you wanted to take the code that was generated here and cut and paste this into a query and or a standard, a standard procedure, and then go ahead and do some more robust development, that would be completely available to you. And those are some of the main limitations and bonuses to using views. Um, I hope this was informational. Uh, next week I'll be going over the SSMS toolkit. Thank you so much.